tried dozens of times, but I've never actually been in. <laughs> oh, hi, Miss Bundy. <laughs> hey, Miss Bundy, what's going on? <laughs> How you doing, Big Red? <laughs> okay, so I've been here once. <laughs> Usual table, Mrs. Bundy? <laughs> but I tipped well. <laughs> Now, Mom, just because the kids don't write doesn't mean they don't love you. Oh, they told you they didn't love you? Well, they didn't mean it. You know our kids. You know, I'm sure if you sent them some money, they'd love you. No, I couldn't watch you be the judge today. They put this new street light up in front of the house, and I was watching the men work with their shirts off. <laughs> Of course I took pictures. <laughs> yeah, the new crime light is real nice. Everyone in the neighborhood is real happy about it. I hate those new crime lights. <laughs> they make everything look yellow. This neighborhood's ugly enough during the day without having to look at it at night. I can't comment on that right now, Mom. Al just alt way in the ore day. <laughs> pig Latin pig. Must be your mother. <laughs> Tell her I said oink. Oh, sorry to leave you down here. I had to take care of something upstairs. Well, hi ho, hi ho. I'm off to work. Marcy, how are they hanging? <laughs> I, uh, might be home for lunch. <laughs> My, the clouds look especially fluffy today. What is going on? And what's all this singing at night I hear? That's the sounds of Nookie, dear. <laughs> Everybody's getting it. <laughs> it every 36 hours before Tiffany. I'm surprised you're even conscious. So, uh, what are you batting these days? He doesn't even get up to the plate. Gee, too bad. <laughs> I can't stand it, Peggy. Everyone in this neighborhood is happy but me. It's not fair. I'm supposed to be the happy one. Not you people. All Steve wants to do is talk about Tiffany. Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany. He could care less that I was at that bar waiting for him last night. With a cigarette. He never did show up. I spent three hours pounding down brewskis with some spot welder named Bluto. Well, Marcy, why don't you look at it this way? So your husband doesn't find you attractive and interesting anymore. Did you really think that you were gonna get through married life having sex and fun indefinitely? <laughs> Not in this town, Mars. <laughs> so why don't you do what the girls and I did? Get yourself some bonbons, take up bingo, and readjust the shower heads in the bathroom. How about if I try this? Putting Tiffany's hair in a Vegematic. Slice it, dice it. Let it sit in her lap while I dance around her shaven head. <laughs> Peggy, you've got to help me. We must get rid of Tiffany. Oh, no, 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 Mars. We must put an end to world hunger. We must buckle up for safety. <laughs> but when it comes to Peg Bundy getting it regularly, we must go with the flow. <laughs> <sighs> now, if you'll excuse me, I must go and get dinner for my sugar tush. <laughs> And if Tiffany comes back, could you have her sitting on the couch when Al comes home? <laughs> it's important. <laughs> and then, as if the kiss wasn't enough, Elvis gave me a massage. Uh, uh, Peggy, can I see you a minute? Did he really give you a massage? Well, it was more like he kind of bumped into me. But you know, when you're married to Al, that is a massage. Go on, go on. Well, then he said, leave your husband. He ain't nothing but a hound dog. Come with 
like me and will enjoy a life of fast living, fast cars, and fast food. He actually said that? Well, his exact words were, excuse me, ma'am, but it was the way he said it. Oh, I envy you, Peggy. My only brush with destiny was when Clark Gable came to me in a dream and said, keep your own teeth as long as you can. <laughs> Then Steve's stupid appendix burst and I woke up. That's Steve for you. Now, every time I see that scar, I think what might have been. Come on, Marcy, snap out of it. Clark Gable is dead. Let's get back to the living. Now, when Elvis comes for uh, me... Pardon me. Could you please show us again how Elvis sneered when he found out your husband sold shoes? <laughs> Excuse me, Marcy. My public... Sad. Look at her. Every year it's the same thing. Yep. The birthday hop. <laughs> I think she'd learn. I mean, every year she turns on the oldie station, cranks it up real loud, and dances the dances of our forefathers. Oh, and then she realizes how old she is and gets depressed. Watch. Well, remember that one? If you do, you must be a hundred, because it was over 20 years ago. That was one for you, Grandma. So sad, so sad. But if I ever get that old and act like that, would you please shoot me? Why wait? <laughs> Sir, it's been three hours, and we really need this table. We've got some nice water for you to take home. <laughs> pay us. Didn't I pay? I, it must have slipped my mind. I, didn't I pay you? Oh, well, uh, listen, could you bring me a newspaper? I'll be right back with the manager, sir. Is it okay to panic now, Al? Yeah, now would be a good time to panic, Peggy. <laughs> what do you think they'll do to us? Well, it's a high-class joint. They'd probably beat the hell out of me and toss me in a dumpster, but, uh, well, you, you probably just have to do some dishes. Dishes? <laughs> me? <laughs> no way. I'm taking charge here. Give me your shoes. What are you talking about, Peg? Give me your shoes now. Sir, if you can't pay, perhaps you'd like to discuss it with the... <laughs> What's that? This! Oh! <laughs> okay. Everybody back. Now we're busting out of here. I want to see hands, people. Nobody try to be a hero. Oh, my God, she's got a shoe. <laughs> Nobody comes close. Nobody gets sick. <laughs> and I don't want to see anybody try that again. Let's go, Al. <laughs> Play some happy music. <laughs> Let's go, Al. Wait a second, Pete. <laughs> you know, I had a really nice time tonight, honey. It was nice getting out for a uh -huh. right? <laughs> Hey, you want to make a run for the fire escape? You betcha. <laughs> and don't try to follow us. <laughs> All right, who's next to lift the wallet out of the pants? Oh. Okay, Susan, you try. Oh, no, no, no. You want to lift with the right hand. The left hand is to hold the pillow over his head. Uh, Mom, 
a remote control question over here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, Kimberly. You want to roll the bonbon in your mouth. Roll it. Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What if your husband is watching something stupid like sports and he has the remote control? Oh, that's yeah. good. That's good. <laughs> Ah, an advanced question. This requires planning. As I explained in the section on how to use your TV guide, when you fold down the pages of what you want to see, scan for those nasty sporting events that can kill your evening. That day, you set the channel for what you want and then remove the batteries from the remote control. <laughs> Most men will only push a remote button four times before giving up. And they won't get up to change the station manually because they're too tired from work. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Spivak. What about meals? How do they get done? <laughs> Hello, do you deliver? <laughs> so what you're saying is that work is stupid. Just for women. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is why should we age and sweat and die early? That's what men are for. <laughs> Gosh, Kelly, your mom is the greatest. And where does she learn to make such good cookies? She tricked a neighbor into baking them. Oh my gosh, everybody, did you hear that? She tricked a neighbor into making these cookies. Peggy, 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 Peggy. Are you okay, honey? Well, actually, Peggy. Shh, they're gonna announce the queen. All right, that was some fight, huh? And speaking of fights, it's time to pick a queen. You know, Peggy, I really think I need a doctor. Shh. God, it's always you, you, you. Why didn't I leave you at home? Let's have our four queen finalists up here, please. Oh, I'm so happy to be nominated. Thank you. Gee, I wonder who it'll be. Good luck, Peggy. Good luck, Connie. And our Polk High reunion queen is... Larry Fleischman! Yes. <laughs> Throw out an anchor, Fleischman. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, really. The winner is, and by a landslide, every boy's fantasy, every mother's nightmare, Peggy Wanker Bundy! <laughs> She dog. <laughs> and now the queen will dance the spotlight dance with her king. Oh. <laughs> oh, Al, this is the best night of my life. That's great, Peg. But you know, I really think I'm hurt bad. <laughs> This is such a beautiful moment. Don't spoil it with your whining. You know, I really am lucky. Out of all the guys here, you are the best one. Aren't you going to say the same to me? Was the go-go dancer in our class, Pig? <laughs> no, Al. Then I married the prettiest girl in school. Oh, Al. You know what would top this night off just perfectly? Oh, no. Oh, come on. You can't tell me you don't want to. What's that in your pocket? My rib. Let's begin with some in-place runs. You know, to burn off the tension. You know, you got a lot of nerve. Did I come over to your house when you won the Woman in Banking Award? Yes, you did. And you stole a whole chicken. <laughs> yeah, but at least I didn't wiggle my butt in front of it when I did it. Follow me, ladies. You know, Marcy, 
You're right. There is plenty of gym to go around. And let's not forget we're friends. Agree? Agree. <laughs> Three and four and rest. <sighs> what happened to Marcy? Oh, she lost interest. Let me in, you swine! <laughs> okay, Jim, I'm beat. I'm just gonna sit over here while you flex me off to sleep. That's not quite how it works, Mrs. Bundy. Uh, just how does it work, Jim? And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, well, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. <laughs> And 197, and 198, and 199, and 200. Okay. I think it warmed up. Let's get started. Bonbon. No bonbons. Let's clear up a few misconceptions. There are two things Peggy Bundy doesn't do. Number one. Cook, clean, sew, vacuum, iron, and parent. <laughs> and number two, exercise. Well, Jim Jupiter loves a challenge. Bon Bon. I'm here to change your whole life, Peggy Bundy. Bon Bon. <laughs> Mrs. Bundy, you're a strong woman, but I'm the healthiest man in Chicago. I can see this week is gonna be a test of wills. Bon bon. <laughs> I like strawberry the best, don't you? Actually, the mocha Shh. or my. Oprah's on. Oh. <laughs> Las Vegas! Yeah. Oh. oh! The lights, the money, the men. I'm as giddy as a widow. <laughs> well, let's just check in. After a nice bubble bath and a good Ooh. night's sleep, we'll start bright and early. I hear they've got a really neat dam not far from here. Oh, it's gonna be so much... Peggy? Come on, baby. Mama needs a new pair of men. <laughs> stay in business. Let me play, let me play. Yeah. 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 Oh. What are we messing with quarters for? The real money's over there. Come on, Marcy, let's go. Oh, maybe we should take it slow. Not when we're on a streak. We just got here and we're almost up a buck. <laughs> <laughs> we're hot. Come on, grab the bags. Excuse me, excuse me, make way, make way. <laughs> excuse me, make way, make way. <laughs> Don't you recognize a lady when you see one? <laughs> God. Would they have a toupee sale here? <laughs> I would like $20 worth of chips and a newbie in God to carry home my winnings. <laughs> I'm Marcy. I hate men. But if you get me drunk, I'm yours. <laughs> New shooter coming out. Okay, give me room. Give me room. <laughs> oh, not you. You stay close. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Roll them or buy them. I'll buy you when I'm done here. <laughs> then we'll take you upstairs and use you. <laughs> then we'll throw you away and hurt your feelings like mine were hurt. Then I'll laugh. We'll see who the real park ranger is. <laughs> you may roll now. 
<laughs> Thank you. Come on, baby. Give me your seven or send me to heaven. Seven. Yeah. Oh! Did we win? Of course we won. You know what they say, bad marriage, good luck. <laughs> okay, don't give me a two because my husband sells shoes. <laughs> Seven. Hey! Oh, we won again! We won again! How does this place stay in business? Oh, I don't know, Mars. But grease up the men and shoot the women, because I'm a rolling. <laughs> well, what are we going to do now? We lost all our money in eight minutes. <laughs> we lost our plane tickets home, and we can't even afford a room. Yeah. But we had fun, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Well, I guess I'll go fluff up a cactus and sleep in the desert. You know what they say. The early bird catches the Gila monster. <laughs> Boy, you lose your husband and your life savings. Doesn't take much to bring you down, does it? <laughs> you know, I just know if I had a bigger stake, I could break this place. There's just got to be a way to get more money. This one's for you. I know it is, Peg. Okay. I know. It. No one is going to help us. It's just you and I against the kitchen. I'm going in. <laughs> Working in a coal mine, going down, down, down. Working in a coal mine, about to step down. Working in a coal mine, going down, down, down. Working in a coal mine. I'm already up and gone. Lord, I'm so tired. How long can this go on? Got that working in a coal mine, going down, down, down. Working in a coal mine, about to slip down. Working in a coal mine, going down, down, down. Working in a coal mine, about to slip down. Cause I need to get money. All in coal by the tongue. But when Saturday rolls around, I'm too tired for having a fun. I'm too tired for having I'm just working in a coal mine, going down, down, down. Working in a coal mine, about to slip down. Working in a coal mine, going down, down, down. down. Working in a coal mine, about to slip down. <laughs> Lord, I'm so tired. Huh. hours to sleep before school. Two and a half. Oh, well, at least I only have to stay awake for one class. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Let's go. Uh. Oh. You know, it's not like I want to do anything with Andy. I just want to turn him on, drive him wild, make him sweat, and then say no. Just like I always meant to in high school. <laughs> Hiya, beautiful. Oh. 
So, uh, do you find me beautiful? I think you are the most beautiful woman I've ever known, except for my mother and, of course, Judy Garland. <laughs> Andy, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> um, I've got something to tell you. I bet you do. <laughs> well, I want to be honest with you because you've always been honest with me, Lola. Oh, Andy. I know what it is that you have to say, but before your passion bursts into flame, I have to tell you, you can't have me because, uh, I'm engaged. Oh, all right. I'm married. I have a confession to make, too. I'm also married. You pig! <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve leading me on. I didn't mean to. I just, I just wanted to have a good time and, you know, get out of the house. Besides, just because you're married doesn't mean you're dead. Doesn't mean you're alive, either. <laughs> You know, the one good thing about us both being married is it sort of takes the pressure out of this flirtation. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to worry about turning me on, and I don't have to worry about turning you on. <laughs> but if that should happen, then that's just something you'll have to deal with. <laughs> I must have been dreaming you ran off with that dwarf down at the bookstore. <laughs> and that I'm living in sin with a playmate centerfold and her eight roommates who can speak but choose not to. Al, that is so insulting. You know, you sound as if you think women have nothing interesting to say. That is so untrue. Take me, for example. I have lots of interesting observations to share. For instance, who but me would tell you that your teeth have evolved into the same lovely shade of yellow as your underwear? <laughs> or that you have 10 times more hair in your nose than on your head? <laughs> or that over the years, you have shrunk several inches in height? Gee, I, I wonder where they went. <laughs> there they are! <laughs> Which reminds me, Al, I want sex. So do I, but I see no reason to drag you into it. Al, there is nothing happening in our bedroom. Well, Peg, if it's working, don't fix it. Al, this isn't normal. Everybody else has sex. Everybody else has sex. What are you doing, looking in windows? Yes, I do. And everybody else has sex. Oh, God, I'm exhausted. Sex, sex, sex all night long. I know. I told you I saw someone doing the wave. Coffee, Marcy. I'd offer Jefferson some, but he doesn't need anything to keep him going. Hi, honey. Peg, why'd you do it? I had to. I was jealous. I wasn't getting any attention anymore. Suddenly, everybody was just talking to you and nobody cared about me. I couldn't handle your happiness, so I killed you. <laughs> You're not mad, are you? I mean, if it's any consolation, you always have me. Well, Peg, if it's any consolation to you, it's no consolation to me. <laughs> How'd you kill me, Peg? You were crushed by a meteorite <laughs> shaped like a lady's shoe. <laughs> Did I suffer? Sure. <laughs> oh, what do you say, Al? How about a portrait of Mr. and Mrs. Empty Pants? Ah, well, why not? It'll probably be the last picture of us with your head still on. <laughs> Later that day, as the welcoming sun caressed the curvaceous princess, she found herself alone with Captain Courage. I wanted to hate that man and his rascal ways. But after a while, I discovered something about him. A zest for life, a je ne sais quoi that was hard to resist. 
<laughs> the days became endless, and I became dizzy with wonder. Where was I? Where was Prince Paco, my fearless rescuer? Where was the Domino's pizza ship? <laughs> 30 days or less, my ass. <laughs> Feeling, Peg. I'm surprised you could make it down those stairs this morning. I know. I was pretty tired. I hope that buzzing didn't keep you awake last night. <laughs> Those damn bees. <laughs> you know, and one must have stung you too, because I heard you scream. You want to do it again tonight? Oh, Peg, I think if we do it again too soon, it'll cheapen the experience. <laughs> Bask in the afterglow, baby. <laughs> now, Peg, you're not glowing. You don't have that I've been satisfied by Al Bundy look on your face. <laughs> Gee, maybe you should go to your girly doctor. You know, they say you should get checked out every 50 years or so. <laughs> you know, put you up on the old rack, check your belts and hoses. Honey, there is nothing wrong with my belt and hoses. I just need to be taken out and driven once in a while. <laughs> well, that can't be a shot at me. I'm Al, the mailman Bundy. I deliver. Yes, Al, but mailmen are slow, and they deliver every day. <laughs> yeah, but they don't always have to go to the same house. <laughs> but seriously, Peg, you weren't satisfied? Well, let's put it this way. I used to call you the Minute Man. Now I long for those days. <laughs> But you know, Marcy was very comforting. She said, with you, the sooner it's over, the better. <laughs> he told her. Al, you, uh, you want to throw around the football? <laughs> there, we done? <laughs> I think she might have told him. Ms. Peg Bundy! says she's married to a successful doctor and not to Al Bundy, the shoe salesman. <laughs> and now presenting the basket of cash ball, a starting guard for the Portland Trailblazers and proud member of America's Olympic dream team, Clyde the Glide Drexler. You know, anyone can do that. I have to make it from here. Don't worry about it. Just think of the line from that famous commercial. Oh, you mean just do it? Well, no. I was thinking Lego my ego. <laughs> but yours is better. Okay. Good luck, Ms. Bundy. Don't be nervous. $10,000 riding on this shot. Ten thousand people rooting for you or against you. Ten <laughs> Go ahead and shoot it, baby. <laughs> the court's all yours, Peg. $10,000? Gee, I wonder if I could get a cheerleader for that. $10,000? Gee, I wonder if I could get a player for that. Hey, if we'd had her instead of Ainge, we'd have won the championship. Now, nah, Peg, now nah, that's all right. You, 
Gave it your best shot? You're not disappointed, Al. Disappointed, Peg? It's the only way it could be. <laughs> I wanted it, I needed it, I deserved it. How else could it have turned out? Then it's your fault. From the minute I said I do. <laughs> you know, honey, I'm really sorry about the money. I guess basketball's just not my game, huh? Yeah, I guess not, Peg. Come on, sweetheart, let's go. Okay. This is my joke. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Uh, she nobody. Uh, she, just my wife. <laughs> Hurry up with the ring, boy! What is going on here? Well, Peg, it, it all started with ten pizzas. Shut up, Al. <laughs> June Morgan, how dare you? Well, you stole my fiancé at the wanker wedding hole. Get over it. We were twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the last of the duty free duty. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go hitch winch up to Mama's girdle and twang her on out of here. <laughs> what, is, uh, what the hell's going on here? It, it's Jefferson's fault. He told me I won $10 million. Yeah, well, you super glued a toilet seat to my ass. <laughs> What's a toilet seat? <laughs> Didn't you get the message I left you on the answering machine? What's an answering machine? <laughs> no, no, nobody seems to get the messages off that answering machine. Oh, so this is all my fault then? Well, oh, no, honey. Once again, this is your father's fault. And you know what you're gonna have to do to make this up to me, don't you, Al? Oh, no, Peg! <laughs> Not upstairs! <laughs> oh, no, honey. We're gonna do it standing up. <laughs> Right here, in front of everyone. For the 37th time, Bundy, do you take this woman to be your wife? For the 37th, 8th, and 9th times, no, no, no. <laughs> Come on, Al. It's not like we're really getting married. We're just renewing our vows. Besides, Dad's got you covered. <laughs> just like old times, eh? <laughs> Only this time, the, the gun is loaded. <laughs> and so am I. Come on. Well, Bundy. I'm not saying it. The drunken old hillbilly's gonna have to kill me before I say it again. Say what? I do. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, now you know I'm not one to beat around the bush, unless of course you're in it. <laughs> so I'll make this fast. Like you know any other way. <laughs> I'm planning a get together for the guys and you're going to help me. Oh God, Al. Didn't I just get all dressed up so I could go to some tired party and impress your friends? That was a senior prom, Peg. <laughs> and you were only in your dress for 20 minutes. <laughs> now, there's a big wrestling show on cable Saturday night. Is it pay-per-view? No. It is now. <laughs> oh, come on, Peg! You want me to look stupid in front of my friends? The same friends who used silly putty to give Nancy and Sluggo hooters? <laughs> Well, at least those hooters were fun to play with. <laughs> Look, Al, it's not like I don't want to help you, but I'm very busy. You think I just sit here all day long? No, no, Peg. No, from the potholes in the couch, I'd say you sit here and you sit here. I don't sit there. That's where I put my food. How would you get all that money? From Peg's dresser. Suddenly, she's got all kinds of spare cash lying around. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Here she comes.
comes like a beautiful mirage. Uh, I bet you'd like to take a ride on her magic carpet. I think Jasmine has a little crush on our Latin here. <laughs> Shut up, both of you. You're being very immature. Ooh, ooh, I think I just saw her belly button. <laughs> wow, you two make a cute couple. <laughs> no, no, she's out of my league. And the worst part is she probably lives with some loser who doesn't appreciate her. <laughs> I'll tell you, if I had a woman like that, I would never leave home. You know, you're much prettier than the cartoon, Jasmine. <laughs> oh, don't look. You'll see it all very soon. <laughs> Can you see it all, boys? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't want to tell you that I don't enjoy that a lot, but uh, I think you ought to know that I'm a married man. Oh, well, I don't care. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jasmine, I'd like to tell you that I want you to tie up the rest of my body and all, but I've really got to go see my wife now. What do you want to see me about, Al? <laughs> What'd you do with Jasmine? I didn't do anything with her. You killed her, didn't you, Peg? <laughs> because you couldn't stand to see me happy. I am Jasmine, you idiot. You can't be Jasmine. Jasmine's a beautiful, alluring woman. Well, you're, you're just a wife. That's right, Al. And now your wife and your fantasy are one and the same. So now, every time you have sex, you'll think about me. 